You may remember a little while ago I did a video about um, a video game group build where you could actually build a model of something that appeared in the video game. It could be a, a person, a character, uh, a car like this or anything really. And um, this is mine. So I've finished it at last. I um, haven't really been in the mood what, with one thing and the other but once I got to the weathering bit I really took off. I really enjoy that that part. So uh, as you can see it's a, a Lancia Stratos HF. Uh, the kit's by Nito who like Lancia cars. They're really really nice. Um, this one's an Airtalia uh, version, rally car. Um, but unfortunately I had a bit of a difficulty with the uh, dickles as usual. Um, the big ones, the large ones, uh, as you can see the big space where the large one was, they just essentially, well it took ages for them to come off the uh, backing paper. And when they did they just disintegrated. So the only ones I could use were the smaller dickles. Um, which means that unfortunately the car has lost its sponsorship with Air Italia. <laughs> No, it happens. So that's a bit of a pain. Car went together pretty well. Very simple. Um, I wanted to put the um, because this part at the back tilts up, and I didn't really want it tilting up particularly. So I wanted it connected to the rest of the car. But unfortunately, because it's an old kit, just like the um, Dickles, uh, pretty old from about 1992. Um, it just wouldn't meet, and I thought about using super glue and all that sort of thing, but uh, me and super super glue don't get on either. Uh, why do I? Why am I in this hobby? Is what I'm uh, saying really. But there we go. Uh, let's have a look anyway. So you have to remember, it doesn't have this color scheme anymore. In fact, it doesn't really have a color scheme at all right now. Here we go. So we'll just uh, zoomate in. Yes, that's a word. Not not one of my words, but it is a word. We might even, if we're very careful, because it's bring it in a little bit. There we go. So as you can see, it's uh, weathered pretty. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I did do a fair bit of weathering to it. Um, Dickles are on there. You can see them, sort of thing. Um, them just. Oh God, this is going to be awkward, because that guy. At the back, that it has a habit of falling over. Um, let's turn it around the best I can, anyway. There we go, that's it. As you can see, it's uh, been through the mud and the filth and the water. Um, it turned out quite well, it, it's a good effect. Uh, I used an airbrush for um, a buff color and then added brown and darker browns. and. All that sort of thing on top. I also uh, used some um, craft paints, some brown craft paints and mixed it with um, talcum powder to make it in into a paste. So I've done the base in this sort of undulating 3D effect and also around the edges there where the um, mud sort of splattered up. Um, what else? Uh, I use a, a brush to um, a, a, a stiff brush and I could flick bristles with a paint on in that sort of direction so it looks like it's been splattering in this direction. Uh, the windscreen turned out okay. Um, all I did was use some uh, masking tape, cut it to size, put it on, on there but I cut stri striations, you can see my hand, striations um, in the masking tape so that when I spray the uh, the buffer or the dirt all, all over it you can see it's got a sort of effect hang on let me just get I don't really like getting too close to my models but there we go as you can see it's got that effect where the dirt has got underneath the wind, windscreen wiper and it's not doing the job let's have a look turn it around a bit um, so it all turned out pretty well I think um, got some, this is just a piece of plastic um, bin liner I think, uh, in blue, uh, which they'll lay down for the car to go onto uh, the wheels, uh, the dirt on the wheels, all I did there was got some PVA glue, mixed it with a bit of water, so it's really, 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 really thin, painted it onto the tyres, um, 
when they're off the car, obviously. Um, now, I, I tend to um, use incense, incense sticks um, because I quite like, like them. I like, like the smell, you know. But it leaves a certain dust behind, or a brown dust, depending on the type of incense sticks you burn. And I simply roll them through the, uh, the dust um, of the incense sticks, um, and it's stuck because obviously the PPA glue would stick to the tyres. Um, I Because the back wouldn't connect to the front, um, simply because it's a pretty old kit and it's, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, I left it open and you can see the details of the engine in there. You might get a, see a figure which I hardly ever do figures. Um, there he is. Um, he's a... I got him off eBay. He's a, um, a G scale figure. G scale stands for garden scale, which is or garden gauge, which is um, model railways, and it's a garden, the large gauge that you can have in in gardens, obviously. And I think, and it sort of works out at one twenty fourth, one twenty fifth. Anyway, I just repainted repaint, him a bit. Um, he, on, on his back is actually um, uh, not a decal, but I just painted uh, some detailed to simulate the name of his team and things of that that sort you, you know um so yeah i mean it's it's got some bits and bobs here there's a spare tire um i don't like moving it because the, the guy tends to fall over you can see he's leaning into the engine a bit <laughs> um going oh my god what have, what have they done to this engine oh geez, this is going to take all night oh my goodness so there we go um that's my build for this year's um, video game uh, model group build, uh, hosted by SteveTheFish.net. Greg, or was it Steve? So, yeah, that's it, really. I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, I wasn't feeling it for a long time, um, and this really helped me sort of get my ju juices going again. <laughs> um, I, wonder, you know, I wonder if I can swizzle it all the way around. Oh, this could be dangerous. Because that back isn't on very well. Uh, yeah, well, there we go. That's as far as I want to go. Um, also, there's debris all over the place down below. Also, I, I put some wetness down there. Ooh, ah. Um, so it's a bit damp down there, obviously, because of the mud and everything else. So um, there we go. Um, that's that. That is it. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, let's see what I'm going to build next, because I actually don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. Okay then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.